Okay, my name is Al Allen, and I am the owner of DrDotson.com and California Dotson. Today we're going to talk about timing, specifically timing indicators and crankshaft pulleys. Uh, get into the oil pump gear drive, and then speak a little bit about distributors. I've done a video on distributors before. Um, hopefully you've seen that already. If not, check out my channel. It's there. shows you the importance of uh, matching the correct pedestal with the adjustable timing plate. So back to the pulleys. Um, as you can see, there's a variety of different styles for each year. Um, and I'm going to go through each one and explain them to you. Because what I'm noticing is customers are mis mitch, excuse me, mix and matching uh, these crankshaft pulleys and indicators. And it's causing a problem with what they think is a timing issue. So let's start here with the blue one. Um, L24, it's very recognizable. The, uh, the pulley is a dual groove. One is for the smog pump and the other is for the water pump. Uh, same size pulley and it's uh, different than the other years so it's, it's pretty recognizable. And it has a timing indicator that is just a pointer. Um, that's because the markers, as you can see there, those notches um, are on the pulley versus on the indicator like they are in the later years. This next one is most commonly found on a 260 and 280. Um, this one's going to be a little confusing because one of the other issues I've noticed is, like on this one, uh, it was an air-conditioned version, but uh, had an aftermarket air conditioning, so they had an aftermarket pulley. This is not a, a stock pulley, but it has the timing indicator on the opposite side of the engine. Uh, as you can see there, most of these other ones are on uh, the left side. This one's on the right side. And the timing indicator is different. Um, most of the ones you'll see, if you have a normal, regular 260, 280 US spec, um, will be looking like that one. <clears throat> Next up is the ZX version. This is the non-power steering ZX. Uh, the indicator looks like this one. As you can see now, it's up to 30 degrees of adjustment versus uh, 20 degrees on these previous years. Here's another ZX. Uh, this one is a three groove. The third groove is for power steering. Uh, same indicator as the two groove but it has that third pulley for the power steering pump. Uh, this last one is a four-cylinder version, the L20B. Um, it's a two-groove as well, and it's got its own separate indicator. If you have an L16, it'll have one that looks similar to an L24, just longer, and most likely it'll just be a, a single-groove pulley, but it, too, is different. Um, and then, of course, we're gonna talk about the oil pump and the oil pump gear drive because what I'm getting a lot of is customers who say that their timing is off when in fact it's the oil pump gear drive that is off or the oil pump gear drive is not off and they're trying to get timing with the wrong indicator with the wrong pulley. So one of the things I wanted to show you is if you don't know this groove in the oil pump here this little uh, bullet shaped is a indicator for the oil pump gear drive and the indicator is indicating that little tiny dot there you see that little tiny dot that has to be straight up and down where this bullet would virtually shoot through that dot or you run a straight line from you know this hole straight up to that dot that's where it needs to be engaged um, in the oil pump in order to be properly aligned in the engine and then getting it into the engine through the timing cover is its own task. But uh, if you don't have this part figured out first, uh, well, it doesn't make a difference what you do with the engine. And then, of course, <coughs> the distributor. This is just a, uh, a 280Z distributor, but I wanted to show you that within the distributor, you have two adjustments, one below the distributor, um, and then, of course, this one, which is the most common one. What I've realized is a lot of shops or, you know, dots and owners that are fairly new don't even know the second one is here. So this plate obviously is adjustable on both ends and then here. So if, if this end is tight, uh, you're only going to get a limited amount of adjustment here versus adjusting both. Um, the other issue I'm hearing is, you know, this term off a tooth, 
which is basically indicating this gear is uh, not engaged at top bed center properly with the worm gear at the crankshaft. And uh, even if that was the case and it is off one, you can usually compensate for that with that adjustment within the distributor. I say usually because not always, depending on the condition of the distributor, which distributor you're running, and then of course the importance of making sure that that plate matches that mount. I can't stress that enough how often I hear that this is the, uh, the wrong mount and the wrong plate mixed together or people will oblong that um, notch and make it work. So, I hope that clears up some confusions. I hope you have the correct timing indicator for the type of pulley that you have. And if you don't, you're gonna have a series of problems but for now, I know that will help a lot of you understand your timing. I'm next going to go to the engine, showing you how to get that oil pump gear drive in the engine at top dead center. But for now, I wanted to explain these parts while they're off the engine, just to give you a better view of which one is which. Again, you can see it's a smart idea to take a, a pen and mark the top dead center indicator which I've done to all these pulleys. As you can see there with just a little white mark. It makes it much easier when you got your timing light and you're trying to figure that out. Okay, so that's it for now. And uh, I'll follow up with a little bit more information on the engine. Thanks for watching.